Hello everyone, my name is Excessive, and today I'll be doing my best to make a comprehensive guide of everything you need to know before jumping into OP Legends. For this video, we'll be going over the prison game mode for the server. I do plan on making a skyblock tutorial um, after the new season releases and after I figure all that stuff out. But for now, let's head back to prison. This video will be split up into different sections and will have timestamps in the description for your convenience. But if you are a brand new player to the server, I would highly recommend watching the entire video. Let's get started. As soon as you join, you'll have to choose which game mode you want to play by using the compass. If you want the game to look as nice as mine, be sure to download the OP Legends Texture Pack. You should receive a pop-up when you first join asking you if you want the Texture Pack. I would recommend it since it makes certain items easier to identify and also because it makes everything look really cool. Let's go ahead and choose Prison. By default, you will spawn in the crates area. What makes OP Legends so different from other prison servers, besides being able to win real life money, is that they have something called universes. This current season includes farming, mining, and arctic. Let's hop into the mining universe for now and see what we got. This is our personal mine, and when you start out, it is not very impressive. But as more blocks are mined from it, it will slowly start to get bigger and bigger. The cool thing about it is that you don't even have to be the one mining. If anyone comes to visit your mine and mines away at the blocks, it will count towards your upgrade. To visit someone else's mine, just use the command slash mine go and then the username of the person, it will take you to their mine. If you ever want to check the current status of your mine, use the command slash mine upgrades and you can see how far along you are in the upgrades and how close you are to getting your next one. As you mine, you will start to get things called orbs. Orbs is what you're going to use to upgrade your OP pickaxe. To enchant it, just right click it while it's in your hand and it will open up the enchant menu. As you can see, these enchants have some extremely high levels, which means you can be extremely OP. The other currency you gain from mining is dollars. Dollars is what you're going to use to increase your rank. Each universe has its own rank currency. Mining uses dollars, farming uses crops, and arctic uses snowballs. But they all do the same thing, which is increase your rank in their respective universe. What's rank? Well, let me tell you. As your rank increases, you will build up a multiplier towards orbs and dollars, which means more money and more upgrades. Similar to rank, there's something called ascension. Once you have fully upgraded your pickaxe and have maxed out all of your enchants, you can do something called ascending. All you have to do is type slash ascend and it'll open up the menu. Unfortunately, we don't have enough yet. So let's head over to the Arctic universe where I should have enough. Once everything is fully maxed out, type in slash ascend. And here's the ascension menu. Every time you ascend, you get a proc multiplier, which increases the odds of your enchants going off. You get a beacon multiplier, which we'll get into later, and it will increase the price of the enchants next time. Since when you ascend, you lose all of your enchants, they get reset back to zero. Although you lose all of your enchants, I promise you it is extremely worth it. So I mentioned something called beacons. What are those? You can see in the mine that there are these little green beacon blocks when you mine them either by hand or by an enchant, such as Dragon Breath, if we can get it here in a second. There we go. And it clears them out. They will be added to your balance over here. Beacons are used to compete for real life money. If you type in slash G, it'll open up the gang menu. Gangs are pretty much like guilds or teams. Everyone in your gang can contribute beacons to compete against other gangs. At the end of the week, the top five gangs with the most beacons will get prizes, which include PayPal and Bycraft payouts. We can go here to slash G top to see the current top gangs. We are number five at the moment. And here are the current rewards for the top gangs. So what's the best way to maximize your gang's beacons? Well, if we check the gang menu, you can see that there are three different types of beacons. There are white beacons for arctic, yellow beacons for farm, and green beacons for mining. To get the most value from your beacons, you want to keep all three of them as balanced as you can. If you look here, the beacons you have the most of are worth very little, only 0.01 trophies per beacon. 
and the ones that you have the least of, in this case green, they're worth 100 trophies per beacon. If it seems confusing, just know that you want to keep all three as even as possible. So if you had 1 million green and yellow beacons, but zero white beacons, you should start farming some white beacons. Lastly, to deposit your beacons, simply type in slash G and click on the beacon icon up here at the top. Choose what kind of beacon you want to deposit, and then you can choose how many. Once you deposit them, they will be added to your gang's beacon collection. Just note that you cannot retrieve the beacons. Once you deposit them, they are gone forever. Moving on to crates. While you grind any of the three universes, you will slowly start to accumulate keys. These keys are used to open crates which can give some pretty good rewards, such as boosters, crystal boxes, and pet boxes, and server ranks. To see your keys, just go to the slash crates menu. And here is where you can open up your crates using your keys. I mentioned earlier that crates can give you crystal boxes. Crystal boxes can be opened to give you crystals. If you go to the slash crystals menu, you can see right now we have one in our pickaxe. As you level up your tool, you can unlock more crystal slots. Crystals give very strong active abilities that have long cooldowns. To activate them, make sure you have your tool in your main hand. Hit Q, and you can see them here. The ones I would recommend are the Orb Magnet, which gives you triple the orbs, and Merchant Crystal, which increases your rank currency. And you can use both together. You can see in chat they activated. And so for one minute, we will gain a huge multiplier on our orbs and rank currency. Next on the list are pets. What are pets? What do they do? And most importantly, how do you get them? Pets are another way to get certain multipliers, such as orbs, rank currency, lucky blocks, keys, armor shards, and more. You can get your very own pet by opening pet boxes by using your crate keys. I believe every type of crate has a chance of giving you a pet box, and once you have one, make sure you activate it. In order to activate a, a pet, just make sure you're holding one in your hand, right click it, and click to activate. If it says it's asleep, that means it is currently asleep. Make sure it has the plus mark, that means it is currently active. Once you activate your pet, it will now follow you. I have two. And that means that you are gaining their multiplier. There are also things called pet backpacks. You can get them from opening crates and are a huge quality of life upgrade. When you right click them, you can look at all the pets you have. And you can use one button to upgrade them. To upgrade a pet, you must have three of the same rarity, that is higher than common, and they will all combine and upgrade one tier in rarity. To check out all the different rarities, just type in slash pets, and you can see them going from lowest to highest. The rarity of the pet determines how high the multiplier is and what the maximum level is for the pet. So if we see here, we have a rare plus orbs pet which would give us 1.75 multiplier to orbs. And here we have a unique plus orbs pet, which gives 4.12 multiplier. The higher rarity of the pet, the higher the multiplier, and overall how strong it really is. Moving on to skins. So skins are very similar to crystals in which they have cool active abilities with long cooldowns. If we take a look here, I currently have the metal detector skin equipped on my pickaxe. And if we use it, it does this. We get a ton of lucky blocks. And now it is on a 25 minute cooldown. There are tons of different skins for each universe which have different abilities. To get a skin, you must open a skin box, which can either be bought from other players or earned through the battle pass. Another way you can make even more money is by making armor. If you type in slash armor, you can view all the different armors for the different universes and see the multipliers they give. Right now I'm using the cookie armor, which is the tier two armor for Arctic. You can see it gives us some snowball and orbs boost and each piece is independent, so you do not need the whole set to get the bonuses. They each have their separate bonus. In order to craft the armor, 
As you're grinding, you will slowly accumulate these armor shards. Right now I have quite a few. Go back to the armor menu. So right now we have enough cane shards to actually make a piece of cane armor. It'll tell you how many they take. Chestplate takes 250, leggings take 200, boots take 175. And to make the next tier of armor, what you have to do is combine your armor shards. Click here on the wheel and you can add them into the menu. You can choose which tier you want. For instance, I have cookie armor, which is tier two. So you can convert them into the tier two, and then you can use these to craft the armor. Once you get your armor, you can start leveling it up. It levels up on its own just by grinding, and it takes a while. I'm currently around 35-ish average. If you look over here, there's something called essence. Essence is used to trade with the wandering trader. The Wandering Trader is only available from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you manage to catch him at the right time, you can use the command to see what he has to offer. This is where you can spend your essence. If he doesn't have anything you want, don't worry. The shop refreshes every single day and will offer a different selection of items every time. Next up is the Auction House. The Auction House is a place where players can buy and sell items with one another. To get there, just type in slash AH, and you can choose which currency you want to handle in. Here, you can see all the items that other players are listing and how much they're selling it for. And you yourself can list items by creating a listing here, choosing your item, and then choosing a price. Huge warning, before you buy any pets and or armor off the auction house, do not do it. <laughs> So armor and pets require something called scrolls in order to use them. So if you came into the auction house and bought one of these pets off someone, you would not be able to use it. It requires a scroll to transfer ownership. So do not get caught in this scam. Another way that players can trade amongst one another is by using player shops. Every player in OP Legends gets their very own private plot, which you can visit by using slash plot and clicking yours. And by opening crates, you will eventually get an item called a player shop. You can place these player shops in your plot to sell or buy items. You can see in my plot, I am currently buying cane armor shards for one trillion winter orbs. So if you need any kind of armor, you can always visit my shop. I try to keep them somewhat stocked up. But yeah, so all you do, uh, if we click on it, it's going to show us all of the options since we're the owner. You can choose what item you're buying or selling here. You can choose what kind of currency here in the shop balance. For instance, we're buying the armor shards for winter orbs. And we're actually currently out, so we can restock it by hitting deposit. We're going to throw in one quadrillion. <laughs> A lot. Now the shop is restocked, and now people can come back to buy the armor shards. These can prove to be very useful, as you can see, we have a lot of armor shards just from buying them off of other players. Just make sure that when you're starting your shop, you make sure to open it. If it's closed, no one will be able to interact with it. And you can set the price here of how much you're buying or selling your items for. Now that you have your very own shop, it's time to advertise it. Make an ad in Global Chat inviting players to come buy or sell whatever it is you have. And if you want it to look really fancy, Make sure to use the commands item and plot to make it look nicer and make it easier for players to visit your plot. For instance, if we hover our candy cane and type in buying item, it's going to show whatever item we have in our hand currently. We're going to say, make it look fancy with the exclamation point, 1 trillion winter orbs or warbs. And then we'll do here use the command plot to link our plot and when we send it it shows that we are buying the cane armor shards for one trillion warbs here at our plot and so now if someone clicks on this plot it will automatically take them here just make sure that when you're advertising oh hey we, we found someone hello over here <laughs> let's see he's on the wrong shop come on buddy there you go good job just make sure that when you're advertising that you only advertise 
less than once per minute. If you advertise too often or have all caps in your advertisement, you can be chat banned by the mods. So please don't spam the chat and don't have it be too loud. Lastly, let's talk about credits. If you look over here, we currently have around 600 credits. Credits are the paid currency, which means typically you have to spend real life money in order to gain them. But there are ways to get them as a free to play player. One way you can do it is by selling your essence. Typically, the exchange rate is between 1 for 2 to 3, meaning if you had 100 essence, you would sell it between somewhere between 30 and 50 credits. You can also sell items such as monthly crates, which go for quite a bit, and skin boxes, which you can earn both of those for free using the battle pass. Type in slash pass to open up the battle pass menu. Here you can earn tons of very OP stuff for free. Showing at the very beginning here, you can earn some pet boxes, some keys, but as you go along, you will eventually get a monthly crate. Typically in the beginning of a season or a world, they're worth around 800 to 1000 credits, which is a lot. And just by selling this one, you can already afford the premium pass, which costs 500. You can either sell them from player to player, by typing in global chat and using slash trade as a way to trade it. Another way you can get some credits is by stopping by the stream in the channel. We will be doing giveaways in the future. And so if you want some free credits, make sure to stop by. And I almost forgot to mention server ranks. I wouldn't worry about them too much. You can win some from opening crates or by buying them off the auction house. The ranks are not very important and don't really give you that much. If I'm ever live on YouTube, just stop by the stream and drop a like and subscribe, and I'll be more than happy to give you a free rank. I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer it. There's also a questions channel in the official OP Legends Discord server where you can ask questions as well. My community Discord channel will also be in the description. Make sure to join for updates on new videos, giveaways, and just to chill and hang out with me and the boys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you were able to get all the info you need, and more importantly, have a good time playing on this server that I love. If this video helped you, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It is completely free, and it really helps out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.